to MTMI's Mammography Minute. My name is Cheryl Seastrand. I'm a registered mammographer and breast sonographer. And here at MTMI, I teach initial training courses for both mammography and breast sonography. Today, we're gonna to go over a little bit in our Mammography Minute about mammography and correlation with other modalities such as breast ultrasound and MRI. So I have a case here that I, I like to show to beginning technologists to show how abnormalities that show up in mammography can also show on breast ultrasound and breast MRI um, and the progression of the diagnosis. So uh, typically when we see an abnormality such as this on a mammogram, the way it appears on an ultrasound is far different than how it appears mammographically. We can see speculations, different margins, different abnormality around the, the lesion on the mammogram. But when we look at that same abnormality on ultrasound, we can't see those speculations well. So where mammography is really strong, ultrasound tends to be weak and vice versa. Where ultrasound is weak, mammography is strong. Uh, so here on the ultrasound, you can actually see kind of a big mass that's absorbing the sound. The sound isn't projecting past the posterior margin of the mass. Uh, that's kind of something that we typically do see with suspicious abnormalities on ultrasound. The first thing we do when we have an abnormality like that is we actually proceed to a breast MRI to look for the extent of the cancer. And as you can see on that same right breast, you can see that big abnormal cancer on her right side. But what we didn't expect to find on this breast was new enhancing masses, two of them, on her left breast where it's marked A and B. Uh, and those abnormalities, simply because they're enhancing, does not make them abnormal. And we always have to go back and do another ultrasound to clarify and find out if those new enhancing masses are truly real or just um, areas of, of concern and an enhancement on the MRI that aren't abnormal. Um, in addition to that, we love to do MRIs on patients who have breast implants. In, um, when we do MRs on patients with implants, we can actually see past the mid-axillary line. Where mammography, we're sort of limited. We can't see past the mid-axillary line on our patients. But here with MR, you can really truly see past the muscle and into the chest wall and even by the ribs. So it's truly a really the best modality for visualizing patients who have breast implants and breast abnormalities near those implants. And uh, really a, a good modality for Thank you very much. That's all we have today for Mammography.